It is Christmas in the year 2152, and a lot has changed. You see, over the years, Christmas became more and more about Santa Claus, gifts, parties, and Frosty the Snowman, that people slowly forgot the true meaning of Christmas. But that's all about to change. God has a plan to take back Christmas. How, you ask? Well, through the innocence of childlike faith, of course. Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? Yes, I'm okay. I just tripped over this huge book. I knew coming to this old building was too dangerous. It's not too dangerous. I'm just a little clumsy. But look, I've never seen this kind of children's book before. Let's read it. It says it's about the first Christmas story. Well, I wonder what amazing toys and parties it talks about that started Christmas. There once was a young girl named Mary who was engaged to a lady named Joseph. Oh, it's a love story. I wonder if they get married on Christmas. That would be so special, just like a Hallmark movie. I want to read what comes next. One day, Mary was minding her own business when suddenly a great warrior of light appeared. His name was Gabriel, and he was an angel, a special messenger from heaven. An angel showing up here on earth? That's crazy. Here, let me read. At first, Mary was scared, but the angel said not to worry, that God was very happy with her. He told her that she was going to have a baby, a little boy that she would name Jesus. He was God's own son, the one who was coming to rescue the whole world. Wow, plot twist. Who's this God they are talking about? <coughs> God, the one who created the whole world with just a word, the one who could do anything at all, was going to come down as a small baby to rescue the world. Mary could not believe that God would choose her to be the mother of <coughs> his son, Jesus, and that he would be the one to rescue the whole world. <coughs> Oh, I think I remember hearing about this story from my great-grandma and grandpa when I was really little. They talked about the world being full of sin and how we could not save ourselves. So he made a plan to save us by sending his son, Jesus. Let me be next. Sure enough, nine months later, Mary was ready to have her baby. At that time, Mary and Joseph had to take a trip to Bethlehem. But when they reached the little town, they found every room was full and every bed was taken. Mary was about to have her baby, and the only place they could find to stay was an old, dirty stable. And there, in that dirty stable with the cows, donkeys, horses, sheep, and all the other animals. In the middle of the night, the king of the world was born as a teeny, tiny baby. Wait, what? The king of the world, born in a stable? I don't believe it. That baby would change the world. He was God's son, and they named him Jesus, Emmanuel, which means God has come to live with us. And that night, in the dirty stable, among the animals, the first Christmas was celebrated as God's gift to the world was finally here. So, the first Christmas was about the birth of Jesus, God's son, and instead of a big party and gifts, he was born in a stable among animals? Whoa, Christmas sure has changed. This must be the true meaning of Christmas, to celebrate God's gift to the world, Jesus. Not about the parties and toys. Everyone must have forgotten the story because they like Santa Claus, the presents, parties, and all the good food more than remembering what Christmas was really about. But Jesus came to save us. That's the most important thing to remember and celebrate. Yeah, I can't believe that we've been forgetting the most important Christmas story, the first Christmas. People have to remember Jesus' birth. I agree, because remember, it says that Jesus can to save everyone. But how can they be saved if they don't know him? We must share with everyone. But how? They're not going to listen to us. We're just kids. I know. There are songs in here that share this true story of Jesus. We can, we, 
We can sing these songs so people hear the true meaning of Christmas. But how? We don't even have any instruments. We'll just have to use our voices. That way, everyone hears the words telling the truth about Christmas. Yeah! yeah. Come on, let's go to the mall. We'll be sure to be heard there where everyone is shopping. Jesus! Jesus! singing. Do you know it's Christmas? You're supposed to be singing Christmas carols like Frosty the Snowman and Jingle Bells. <coughs> and who is Jesus? Is he the next hit rapper? <laughs> Jesus is the son of God. He was born to save everyone and his birthday is the true meaning of Christmas. Not all, not all the presents and parties. <sighs> I'm thinking y'all have had far too many sweets. You don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I have lots of shopping to do. I have lots of gifts to buy. I gotta get to this mall, excuse me, excuse me. This Pipe Dreams, amazing, <coughs> amazing store. See, I told you they wouldn't listen. Well, we'll just have to keep singing. Come on, let's sing another song. How about this one, Away in a Manger? It talks about who Jesus is in the Christmas story. Away in a manger, no crib for us then. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky <coughs> looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the head. The cattle are lowing, the poor baby wakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes. I love you, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and stay by my side till morning is night. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in your tender care and take us to heaven to live with you there. Wow, you children have beautiful voices. What is that song? Thank you. What We're is that song? We're singing about Jesus' birth. Jesus was God's own son who he sent to be born on earth to save the world. Is, this, is he the new superhero? No. no. <laughs> oh, no, Ann. This isn't just a story. This is the truth. Jesus was born many years ago on the first Christmas. Actually, he, actually, he's the real reason Christmas even started. It's not about Santa Claus presents and parties. It's about celebrating <coughs> his birth because God had come down to the earth as a tiny baby and would save the whole world from all of our sins. Well, I'll tell you what, if they make a movie about this superhero, they're going to make millions. But I have a party to get to and a centerpiece to buy. Oh, there's so much to be done. Oh. <sighs> no one is paying attention. They're all so distracted. We, we just have to keep singing about the true meaning of Christmas. They are bound to get the message at some point. All we need to do is reach one person, then they can help us share and reach more. That's a great idea. Let's sing Heart the Herald Angels Sing. Heart the Herald Angels Sing. Glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconciled, joyful light in nations rise, joy the triumph of the skies. With angelicals proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Christ on high as heaven adored, Christ the everlasting Lord, late in time the old come. 
Um, hello? Earth to teenager, did you hear our song? Um, That was lovely. What was that song you were singing? It's called, <coughs> Oh Come All You Faithful. And it's about the celebration of the first Christmas when Jesus was born. Jesus came to earth to save us from our sins. <clears throat> I seem to remember my grandpa singing that song to me when I was a little girl. And he told me the story. But I've done a lot of bad stuff in my life. I can't see that Jesus would come to earth to save me. Jesus came to save everyone, no matter who they are. He listened to this song. Come on, everyone, let's sing this our child. Everyone, and all he wants is for you to get to know him. So no matter what you've been through, Jesus still loves you and wants you to celebrate the joy of his birth this Christmas. Wow, that sounds like a wonderful reason to celebrate. I'm so glad you kids are here singing. You are brave to come and sing when everybody's rushing around, getting ready for their parties and buying presents. 
but I'm so glad you did because now I know about the Jesus that loves me and came to earth to save me. So do we. We found this book in an old abandoned building, and there are other stories that can tell us even more about Jesus. We can read them together. That sounds like a wonderful idea. You know what, I can't wait to tell my friends and families about Jesus. So you kids keep on singing so that other people can find out about Jesus just like I did. Okay, we will. Wow, did you see that? We kept singing about the truth of Jesus and someone actually believed us. That's so amazing. Jesus sure knows how to work miracles. Well, you guys heard her, let's keep singing. Yeah! Let's do joy to the world because I am so joyful that Jesus was born. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Of his love, and 